stars in his right hand, who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. I know thy works, thy labor, and thy patience, how they cannot bear them which are evil, and has tried them which say they are apostles and are not, and has found them liars, and has borne and has patience for my name's sake, has labored and has not fainted. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. Let's praise you one more time, God. We love you. We praise you. We thank you for your spirit and your word. God, we ask God that you just anoint, use us for thy glory, and on hearts and ears to receive your word today. We'll praise you for it in Jesus' name. Praise God. And you may be seated. For just a little while this morning, I want, I want to preach to you this thought. The lingering fragrance of a lost love. The lingering fragrance of a lost love. If you look at the song of Solomon, you find uh, where the beloved had been knocking at the door and the one that answered the door rose up too late that when they got to the door, they opened and found that the beloved had withdrawn himself and was gone. And then she said, I saw him, but I could not find him. I called him, but he gave me no answer. I mean, no, we, we that uh, God can see us. He can hear us. Right. Amen. He can touch us. Yes. But how many know He can also smell us? Yeah. Come on. Uh -huh. right. Come on. These five Good. senses, the sight, the hearing, the taste, the touch, and the smell. I mean, no, it can stir memories of the past. Right. right. Yes, it can. What do you mean? Well, for instance, we, we hear a song that takes us back to our uh -huh. teen years or our childhood. Yeah. Uh, I, mean, I mean, it's been going down the road, a song comes on the radio, and it, it just takes you back several years. Uh, <laughs> Amen. Yes, uh, sir. What about, what about you, you taste a dish that maybe takes you back to Mama's table? Or you smell a perfume or cologne that reminds you of someone in the past. Right. Amen. Huh? So, so that, that, that is the five senses, the touch, the taste, the smell, the hearing, the sight. You know, these senses, they take us back. They cause us to remember things. They do. Yes, sir. They do. We find that as this one fell to open the door when she... When, when they opened the door, all that was left was a lingering fragrance of a lost love. We begin to look. Now I find in, in, in the book of Psalms, chapter 77, in the book of Psalms, and I've got places marked all over here. Bless you. <laughs> Psalm 77 and 1, he said, I cried unto God with my voice even unto God with my voice, and he gave ear unto me. In the day of my trouble I sought the Lord, my soul ran in the night and ceased not, and my soul refused to be comforted. He said, I remembered God right. and was troubled. Amen. I complained right. and my spirit was overwhelmed. Come on with it. Bless him, Lord. I hold us my eyes waking and I'm so troubled that I cannot speak. I'm not, I'm not sure at this time what was, this was a song of Asaph, what he was troubled about, or what caused him to be troubled. But he said, he said, I'm so troubled that I can't speak. He said, I've considered the days of old and the years of the ancient time. But then he said in verse 6, I call to remember uh -huh. my yes. song in the night. My song in the night. Amen. Uh, something took uh -huh. him back. It could have been, and I've got a feeling it goes way back to the time of Moses after God had miraculously delivered the children of Israel from, from the Egyptian bondage that there came a time that God told Moses, he said, you write this song. Uh -huh. yeah. Amen. Write it. Uh, he said, you teach it to the children of Israel and right. let them teach it to their children. Yes. He said, this song will come up a memorial unto the children of Israel when they go astray. Yes. Bless him, oh. Jesus. Uh, when they go after other gods and they stray away from me, this song is going to be 
of a memorial for me against them. Right. And could this could have been the song that 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 uh, uh, this psalmist began to remember? He said, "I, I call to remember." Yes. Right. My song in the night. Now, I've got a feeling it, it, it brought back a memory of a better time. Yes, it brought back a memory of a yes. message of God. It yes, brought back a memory of when he was close to God. Yes. He said, I'm troubled, I can't speak, but I call to remember us yes. my song in the night. Amen. And he began to think back and he began to reminisce back. Yes, sir. <laughs> Look. He said, I commune with my own heart. My spirit made diligent search. Will the Lord cast off forever? Will he be favorable no more? Is his mercy clean gone forever? Come on. And does his promise fail forevermore? Hath God forgotten to be gracious? Hath he in anger shut up his tender mercies? Amen. See, I'm sure about this time the psalmist, the psalmist was thinking God's forgotten all about me. You ever been there? You ever been to a place that you think, well, maybe God has just forgotten about you? Oh. But see, but God hadn't forgotten. Thank God. I go back. I go back to, to to and stay with me. I mean, I'm going somewhere with this. Go for it. I've got I've got scriptures. Hang in there. Uh, go to the book of Genesis, and this was after the flood. And it could have seemed like to Noah after 40 days in that ark, he showed up in that ark that God may have forgotten about him. Right. But look what happened. Look what happened. In, 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 in chapter 8, in verse 1, the Bible said, And God remembered Noah and every living thing and all the cattle that was with him in the ark. Amen. And God made a wind to pass over the earth and the waters assaged. Now you go to verse 20. This is after Noah had come off the ark. And Noah built it, the first thing he did, after uh -huh. he came off the ark. And Noah built it an altar yes, unto the did. Lord, and took of every clean beast, uh -huh. and of every clean fowl, come and on. offered burnt offerings on the altar. Yes, he did. And look what happened. And the Lord smelled the sweet savor. Yes. Amen. Into the nostrils yes, of God. Thank God. Thank God. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said in his heart, I'll not again curse the ground anymore for man's sake. For the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth. Neither will I again smite any more living thing as I have done. He said, I, he said, I, because, what, he said, Noah built an altar. Right. Amen. And he offered sacrifice. Yes. And God Amen. began to smell the sweet savor. Yes. Right. You know what that word savor means? A fragrance. Oh. Huh? Huh? The lingering fragrance. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord God. Love. Praise okay. God. But look. In Exodus 29 and 18, it says this. It says, And thou shalt burn the whole ram upon the altar. It is the burnt offering unto the Lord. It is a sweet savor or sweet fragrance. Thank you, Jesus. An offering made by fire unto the Lord. But look at Ephesians 5 and 2. And walk in love as Christ also has loved us and has given himself for us an offering yes. and a sacrifice Thank to God you, for a sweet yes. savor. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Thank he you, said he's given. He became that Thank lamb you, burnt yes. off. Yes. He became that sweet savor yes. into the nostrils of God. Amen. But look at 2 Corinthians. Second Corinthians, the second chapter, verse 14. Said, Now thanks be unto God, which causes us to triumph in Christ and make manifest the savor of his knowledge by us in every place. Thank you, Jesus. For we are unto God right. a sweet savor yes. of Christ. Thank 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 God. God. Hey, how many know we gotta smell good? Yes, that's it. How many know we gotta smell good to God? That's it. Huh? He said, 
for we are unto God a sweet savor, our sweet Amen. fragrance of Christ in them that are saved and in them that perish. To one we are the savor of death unto death. Thank those you, that Jesus. perish. Thank the smell you, of death. We know the smell of death stinks. Right. Hmm? And to the other, the savor of life unto life. And who is sufficient for these things? But look, Hebrews 13, 15 and 16. By Him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. Thank you, Lord. That is the fruit of our lips. Giving thanks to his name. Thank you, Jesus. But to do Thank good you, and to communicate, forget not. Thank you. For with such sacrifices, God is well pleased. Thank you. Right. Praise Thank God. When I send up the praise, come on with it. When I send up an offering unto God with my praise yes. and my Amen. worship, yes. and it begins to smell good in the in the nostrils of God. Yes. God sends Thank back you. His Spirit. Thank he sends you. back His presence. He sends Thank back His presence upon me. He calls myself upon me. Let me what yes. pleased with. Yes. Amen. But look. So we know that God not only can see us, He can hear us. Hmm? Yes, he yes. yes, He is. Yes, He is. He can taste us. Yes, sir. Why? Because He said, if you look warm, I'll scream you out of my eyes. He can touch us. Thank God. Help us, God. He can smell us. Yes, sir. He can smell us. Look, go into Judges. I know it seems like I'm jumping around. Stay with me. Go ahead. We were being pre preached on Samson another day. I'm going to preach on Samson again. Go ahead. Right. <laughs> Judges 13 and 24. And the woman bare a son and called his name Samson. And the Lord grew and the Lord blessed him. And the Spirit of the Lord yes. began to move him at times right. in the camp of Dan between Zorah and Esco. And then in verse chapter 14 in verse 6 he begins to talk about the Spirit of the Lord would come on him mightily. In verse 19 he killed a, he killed a lion. And then in verse 19 he slew 30 men. When the, uh -huh. I said the Spirit of the Lord came on him mightily. Came on him mightily. In chapter 15, verse 14, he slew a thousand with a jawbone uh -huh. because the Spirit of the Lord came yes. on him mightily. Yes, but in Judges 16, you find that Samson began to get curious. Going places and doing things he had no business doing. Okay. Hmm? Even though he knew what they were trying to do, Samson kept playing a dangerous game. Right. Mm -hmm. And then in chapter 16, verse 19, and she made him sleep upon her knees, and she called for a man. And he caused him to shave off the seven locks of his head, and she began to afflict him, and his strength went from him. And she said, The Philistines be upon thee, Samson. He awoke out of his sleep and said, I'll go out as other times before and shake myself. And he wished not that the Lord was departing from him. Uh -huh. Brother Ben talked about it. And I, I'll just mention it again. Samson had some miles on him as a yes. Yes, sir. Yes. When those locks were shaved from his from his head. See, he, 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 he wasn't to touch any dead thing. He Amen. touched the carcass of the lion. He wasn't to, to, to drink any wine. He threw a feast right. for the young Philistines, the young men. Of Jesus. And if you look up the word feast around that time, it meant a drinking party. That was the second one. Second one. Second one. 
But each time he he get up, shake himself. Right. The spirit of the Lord was come on him. Yes, yes, he did. He broke that third vow when those locks were shaved from his head. Mighty God. He got up. The Bible said he he should he he just told himself, "I'm going to shake myself as as the other time, and I'm going to be all right." No. But the Bible said that when he got up, he wished not, or he knew not, that the spirit of the Lord right. had departed from him. Right. So they took him. Philistines took him, put him, put out his eyes, and brought him down to Gaza and bound him with fetters of brass. And he did grind in the prison house. Mm. But look. Huh. How be it the hair How of his head it? began to grow again yes, after he was shaven. <laughs> what was happening? Samson could see that hair grow and he began to feel something of the power. Yeah. He began to feel something of the power. Of the power. Oh, there was a memory that was there was a fragrance of the life's love. He may have thought that God had forgotten him because he began to cry out. He began to cry out in verse 28. And Samson called to the Lord and said, Oh Lord God, remember me. You know what? You know what began to happen? God began to go. Yes. I remember that cry. All right, come on. I remember that voice. Yeah. I remember that power. Yeah. I remember that strength. Right. Ha -ha. He was smelling oh. the sweet savory. Right. Oh. Uh, there was a lingering fragrance of a long slow. It was coming up to God's nostrils. He said, oh. I remember that. I remember yes. Chapel said, Remember me. God hadn't forgotten you. God. Hey, you remember me. Remember me. Thank you, Jesus. Right. He said, I pray thee, and strengthen me, I pray thee, only this once, O God, that I may be once avenged of the Philistines yes. from my two eyes. And then Chapel took hold of the pillars of that place. He began to bow with all his might. He began to bow up on those pillars. And he brought down the house. Amen. He brought down the house. Thank Why? Because God didn't forget. Amen. God didn't forget. And God remembered him. Right. Yes. God remembered him. Yes, he did. The fragrance of that prayer came up to the nostrils of God. God remembered me. I said the fragrance of that prayer came up to the nostrils of God. Thank you. Jesus. As God remembered Samson. Thank you. Could I tell you this morning, God hadn't forgot you. No, he hasn't. God hasn't forgot your worship. No, he hasn't. Maybe you've gone astray. Maybe you've grown a little cold. But God hasn't forgot you. Yes. God hasn't forgot you. Look, let's go to another familiar story in closing today. And that's in Luke, the 15th chapter. And we know the story of the prodigal son, how he left his father's house and he spent everything that he had on riotous living. The Bible said in verse 17, look, 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 in verse 17, in Luke 15 and 17, and when he came to himself, uh -huh. in, he's in the hall of him. Uh -huh. Right. When he came to himself, yeah. he said, how many, look, 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 look what happened. Now, he's in the hall and he's hungry. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But there's a memory coming up. Amen. He came to himself. He said, How many hired servants of my fathers have bread enough and to spare? Amen. Maybe he was sniffing. Right. And he could smell that bread that was cooking uh -huh. in the father's house. Mighty God. Uh -huh. Mighty God. I said he could, it was taking him back to the father's house. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. How many times you came? father's house. He 
He said, I'll rise and I'll go to my father. I said to him, Father, I've sinned against heaven and before thee, and have no more worthy to be called thy son. Maybe he's one of thy hired servants. Why? Bless because he knew that the servants had bread enough to spare. Amen. And he rose and came to his father. He was a, yet a great way off. His father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. The son said to him, Father, I've sinned against heaven and in thy sight. Amen. And no more worthy be called thy son. But the father said to his servants, Bring forth the best robe. Put it on him, put a ring on his hand and shoes on his feet. Bring hither the fatted calf and kill it and let us eat and be merry. For my son was dead and is alive again. Yeah. Right. He was lost and is found. And they yes. began to be merry. Yes. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you. So Jesus. if there's still life in us. Come on now. I said, if there's still life in us somewhere, there are, there are one of our senses, it's whether it's sight that brings us back, whether it's taste that brings us back, uh -huh. whether it's hearing that brings us back, your soul, your testimony that takes you back to, to the day that you were close to God, yeah. takes you back to a time that you walk like you're supposed to walk, and you talk like you're supposed to talk, and you live like you're supposed to live. And then there's the smell. And then there's the smell. The lingering fragrance of a lost love. Amen. And it's still there. It's still there. It'll bring you back. Yes, it will. It'll bring you back. Yes, it will. Praise God to a time in the Lord that you once knew. Come on, with Praise God. And see, and when you do, the Father yes. will welcome you home. Yes. Praise God. Let's all sing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God. Come on. Come on. Yes, Lord. It don't have to be a memory. Yes, Lord. It don't have to be a memory of the way you used to walk and the way you used to talk and the way you used to live and the way you used to worship. Praise God. But it can be a mouth. Yes, God. Thank come on, you. It can be a mouth. Come on, let's worship. Come on, let's worship. You are still my provider. So I need to be there. Oh, yes. You 